Hello my fellow patriots. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a tutorial, a drawing tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw the American flag. I'm not an artist or trained in any way, but as an American since birth, it's been ingrained in me that I should be overconfident and do anything if it means the glory of my great country. So grab a beer if that's legal. Two beers like Ted Cruz said. Well, I gotta tell you, if they want us to drink two beers a week, frankly, they can kiss my ass. Get ready for some real patriotic doodling. I'm first gonna start with the pencil. These are my hands. Ignore how wrinkly they are. And also, I don't have a blank sheet of paper, so I'm drawing the flag over China. I feel like that's what George Washington would have wanted. And also, a friend of Joe Biden is not a friend of mine. Okay, I don't have a ruler, so I'm gonna use some staples to create a straight line. All right, that's the side of our flag. All right, see, you first wanna start with pencil sketches because even though we as Americans have never made a mistake, we wanna be perfect for our country. So I got my rect- Peachy, no, do not disrespect America like this. Have I taught you nothing? You're being drafted. She's being drafted. I'm gonna line up the box where the stars are. The vertical part goes about halfway down and it's about a third horizontal. I'm just guessing, but I'm an American, so everything I say is correct as long as it's in respect for our great nation. And then I'm gonna draw the outline for the 13 stripes. I think we're probably gonna have to do a bit of a guess about how to make it even. Okay, so the halfway. There's not gonna be a line halfway because it's an odd number. Okay, let me just put little marks. Okay, that's two, three, four, five. Okay, shit. Okay, I got too big around here. So I'm gonna make these a little tighter. In America, we never make mistakes. There's never a mistake and bringing glory to our nation. What, what? Wait, why do I have 14? That's incorrect. I have 14 marks. That's not correct. One, two, three. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of one then. Then we wanna continue our marks. You know, we can erase our mistakes, but America's legacy can never be erased. And if you don't like that, you can cry about it. You know, staples really are a great, well, both the, the store and the tool. Really great American invention. I don't know where the world would be if America didn't give staples to the world. We have our outline. Okay, so you know how the American flag has 50 stars for the 50 states? Yeah, I don't feel like drawing all of those, so I'm gonna do some quick math and determine which states deserve to be counted. Alabama. I think so. Yeah. Just sweet home Alabama. You know, it's an American classic. I feel like, yeah, it's important to America. Alaska. Yeah, they got polar bears and that's pretty cool. Arizona. Arizona, um, no, it's too hot. I'm from the Northeast, so I don't like that. California, no, they're communists. I was almost gonna give it to Colorado, but then as I was writing it, I realized that it's Colorado, not Colorado. Like, I feel like with that many O's, you just gotta stick to the bit, so I'm giving them not a point for just not sticking with the bit. Connecticut, now that's where I'm from, so yeah, I'm giving it a one. Delaware, no. What the fuck is Delaware? It's like a splinter, like... No. Florida, absolutely not. 
They do not deserve it. They need to get their shit together. And also, Disney World, not all it's chopped up to be. Though I do like Universal. But the beaches are kind of stinky. They get kind of stinky sometimes. They got like algae problems. Georgia. I was considering Georgia for Atlanta. I think I'll count Georgia for Atlanta. I think that's fair. Hawaii. I think I'm gonna give them a bonus so they'll count as two because they've been going through a lot. Idaho? Absolutely not. What the fuck is happening in Idaho? I have no idea. If anyone can tell me what's going on in Idaho, like, please let me know. Illinois. Yeah, Chicago's pretty cool. And we got the Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. It's an American classic. Indiana. Honestly, I don't even know what happens in Indiana, so no. No stars for Indiana. Iowa? Absolutely not. What is happening in Iowa? Besides, it, like, looks like a piggy bank. That's the only, like, positive I can think of. It's shaped like a pig, and that's kind of fun. Kansas? I think so. I think I'll give it to it because at least it actually is pronounced how it's spelled, which is more than... Oh my god, I totally forgot Arkansas, didn't I? Damn, it's so irrelevant that I just forgot to write it. Okay, well, Arkansas, or Kansas, is a zero anyways. Honestly, negative one. Like, why are you pronounced Arkansas? Like, I, I will never understand that. That is negative one point. Like, that's really disgusting. Okay, Kentucky. Yeah, I'll give it to Kentucky. I've heard good things. Um, I've also heard bad things. It is where Mitch McConnell is from. So, real thin ice. But I've heard good- I've heard the cities are fun, so I'll give it to Kentucky. Louisiana? Absolutely. Every time I see someone from Louisiana make a cooking video, my I like salivate. Like, I don't know, I gotta go there. The food looks so good. Also, New Orleans seems pretty cool. Maine? Absolutely not. What the fuck is there to do in Maine? So many bitches from Connecticut just love to go up to Maine. And I'm like, to do what? Like, what is there to do in Maine that there isn't to do here? Like, if anything, there's, like, less, which is saying something because Connecticut can get pretty boring. Like, what, you just stare at trees and stare at cold water you can't go into because it's too damn cold? No. Maryland? Yes. I think Maryland's pretty cool. Baltimore is pretty all right. It's a cool city. Yeah, I mean, I have no beef with Maryland. Massachusetts? Yes, because they're really good at the whole weed thing, and that's pretty cool. Michigan? Yeah, because I kind of got to give them credit for just like being shaped like that. One, they're shaped like a mitten. And two, why did they have that little stem over there? I feel like that should just go to Wisconsin, but it doesn't. So credit for just like snatching that. I, I don't know how or why they did that. Minnesota? No. What do you do in Minnesota? Freeze to death? Please. And be landlocked? please. Mississippi. Um, sure, I'll give it to Mississippi. Can't really think of why. I just feel like it's fun that we have a whole chant based on learning how to spell it. So that's pretty cool. Missouri? Absolutely not. What the fuck? That's like Tom Sawyerville. Like, what happens in Missouri besides, besides like, Tom Sawyer? Montana? Absolutely not. Again, what is there to do there? Get stomped on by a moose? No. Like, I'm not doing that. No thanks. No thanks, Obama. Nebraska? No. I don't even know anything about Nebraska, except that its capital is Lincoln, and that was a good president. Nevada. Nevada absolutely gets a star because a staple of Nevada is Las Vegas and a staple of Las Vegas is boobs and what represents America quite as well as boobs. Honestly, Nevada gets a two for that because, you know, one for each titty. New Hampshire? Absolutely not. Have you seen those libertarians? God, everyone from New Hampshire sucks. Same with New Jersey. No, absolutely not. What what has New Jersey done for the world? Jersey Shore and Chris Christie. And why would I want to pay tribute to that on our great American flag? New Mexico. Yes, because that's where Breaking Bad takes place. I have no other reasons. New York? Yes, because I like New York City. And the whole, like, Niagara Falls thing is pretty cool, too. North Carolina? Sure, I haven't really heard anything bad about North Carolina. They just kind of mind their business. They just kind of are there. Good for layover flights and uh, beaches. You know, I can't really say there's anything really wrong with 
North Carolina. North Dakota? Absolutely not. Oh my god, I can just imagine what the people are like there. I don't even know, but I just have a feeling that they just suck. Ohio? Absolutely not. What the fuck is there to do? What is Ohio? Like, what is that? Like, I hate the shape. Just the shape of the state brings me rage. Are you good? My cat is going... Bruh. I can't with her ass. Okay, but Ohio, I don't know. Someone, what's the deal with Ohio? Come on, everyone makes fun of Ohio, but like what really is the deal? I wanna know. Let's get to the bottom of this. Oklahoma, yes, because I really like how it's shaped. It's just so inconvenient. That's beautiful. It just looks like a little hat for Texas. I love it. Oregon, sure. You know, as terrible as I heard people from Portland are, it is definitely funny, the stories I hear. A lot of it's pretty funny. Pennsylvania, yes, I actually quite like Pennsylvania. Um, they got my, my congressperson Wood, John Fetterman. That's my congress, congress crush. Also, they do the whole chocolate thing pretty well. Love chocolate. You can get ginormous chocolate bars there. And that, if that doesn't scream America, I don't know what does. Rhode Island, see, okay, most people are ready to jump on Rhode Island hate, but as someone from Connecticut, I'm gonna have to give Rhode Island a point because since Connecticut's small, I grew up on the opposite side of Connecticut where than Rhode Island. Like, I was, like, right on the border of New York. I do appreciate that it's still just a few-hour drive to go to Rhode Island and go to the beaches. I really haven't done anything besides go beach there, and I have to appreciate them because since Long Island is blocking Connecticut shores, we don't get big waves. And that always made me sad because I like big waves. So when I wanted big waves, I could go to Rhode Island and I am in debt to them. So they get a star. South Carolina. No. I don't even- why- just be like Carolina. Why is it north and south? Just commit. People these days are so indecisive. Same with South Dakota. Like, what? No. Like, why? Why? Also, isn't that where, uh, the four rockheads are? Mount Rushmore? That thing is ugly as hell. It's honestly kind of disrespectful how ugly it is. It's disrespectful to Americans and our country. Tennessee? Yes, Tennessee gets a point because I've heard great things about the city, and I really like the people that Tennessee has produced. Paramore, so we got Haley Williams, Dolly Parton, so I'm grateful for Tennessee. Texas? absolutely not. No one likes Ted Cruz. No one likes that guy. Someone needs to answer this for me. I don't even know how he was running for president. He was born in Canada. I don't know. If there's details I'm missing, let me know. But he was not born in America. He was born in Canada. Utah? No. Utah. The only nice thing about Utah is like it's shaped pretty nice. I like how it's shaped. Vermont? Yes. I quite like Vermont. Virginia. I say we give Virginia the point. I don't know. I don't really have anything against Virginia. Washington, I'll give the star because Seattle seems pretty cool. I've heard good things. West Virginia, only for country roads. Take me home. West Virginia, mountain mama. Wisconsin, no. I hate how it's shaped. It's shaped so whack. I just hate it. And then Wyoming, absolutely not because that's not even a real state. I don't even know why it's counting. So let's do some math. <laughs> Okay, the math has been mathed, so it'll be, I can't draw stars. I'm just gonna do up, down, upside down, and then I'll clean it up. So it's gonna be a row of six, row of five, row of six, a row of five, a row of six, and that should be 28. <laughs>
actually i'm gonna keep the up down upside down stars i'm gonna take my own interpretation on this uh american flag this is my rendition of it and my take will be on the american education my appreciation for it so as a good american teacher i was taught the up down upside down technique when it comes to stars so i'd like to pay tribute to the people who taught me that so that is what i'm going to keep now i think we can add color let's start with the blue and color in the stars to try to keep this clean i'm first gonna go around the border of the box <laughs> Now we've gone around the border of the box. Let's navigate slowly, getting the color around our beautiful up, down, upside down stars, only representing select states. <laughs> As you can see, this is a very delicate technique and a very timely process. But remember, any sacrifice is worth it for our great nation and for freedom. Because no other country besides the U.S. believes in freedom. This is the most th important thing I've learned in my now i'm now entering my fourth year studying political science that is one of the most valuable things i've learned that we are the only country that values freedom google it <laughs> Okay, I was gonna time lapse that, but my iPhone storage is mad at me. So I'm just gonna finish up. We got the full blue now. Now we're gonna color in the stripes. So it's just every other one is red. Nothing too, you know, difficult, complex. This isn't high level art. It's just America. So I'm gonna outline everything first. Every other one. <laughs> I'm realizing the stripes aren't very correct, but I don't have a ruler and I don't know how to even things out. I don't know. It's like slicing a cake. Do you ever get perfect even slices? No. How the fuck do artists do it? I just do it with the love of my country in my heart. <laughs> Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights or the ramparts we watch, we're so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's bright glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. Wow. Look at that. It's an American miracle. I finished right at the end of the song. Okay, I think I have finished. Anyways, here we go. Our beautiful, the beautiful flag of our nation with only with stars that are relevant. No one really cares about the stars that are missing. These are the only ones that matter. 
two of those stars are for boobs. Just remember that. It's very important. And with that, I hope you patriots have enjoyed my video. You can check out more of my channel for more, more patriotic content as I am a proud patriot and lover of America. Subscribe and like. Ignore that I've drawn China. That's wrong. I haven't done that. They're the biggest enemy to our glorious country. Look at it. Anyways, goodbye. Thank you for watching.